Welcome back to 644. Of course, history is being made in college basketball this year with the entire NCAA men's tournament being held right here in Indianapolis. There is a cap on the number of fans who can attend those games, but there are also caps on the media who can cover them, Megan. And with limited access during the tournament, seven lucky college students are covering the game on a professional level. In a time where COVID restrictions are tight, seven undergraduate students are gaining access inside all the arenas to cover the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. Hi, my name is Devin Voss. Oh, this is Owen Shelby. Oh, Alex Burr here coming at you from the NCAA Tournament. All of them are in the Sports the Capital Journalism to Program at right. IUPUI. This is a once-in-a-lifetime thing, likely. 25 years from now, I look back and it's like, wow, it's actually a part of history. And they're not only enjoying a great sport, View. And I have been having the time of my life here. But they're gaining experience writing articles about the game for the University Sports Capital Journalism Program website and NCAA.com. I have a box score right here. Here's my laptop. And here is the court. All of the students are working alongside sports media professionals at the top of their game. Here's where all the media is sitting. While on a deadline, they're learning lessons in one of the most high-pressure sports settings. How to write in a quick and concise way. The importance of preparation, I've learned. The importance of knowing what questions you're going to ask heading into a press conference. It's been challenging, but I'm loving the experience. I'm loving the action. So always keep your head on the swivel. Uh, you never really know what's going to happen in these games. I'm extremely thankful for the opportunity that I've been given to write, to take notes, uh, and, and to really, you know, get better at my craft. The director of the Sports Capital Journalism Program, Malcolm Moran, coordinated these memorable moments for students. You can't put a, a measurement on the value of that kind of in-person deadline experience. This is his 42nd NCAA tournament. The first time I covered the NCAA tournament, I wrote my stories on a portable typewriter. For 19 years, he covered the elite college hoops competition while working at the New York Times and later on at USA Today. But it's the success of his um, students at IUPUI that he brings his A game uh, to six. now. You've got this jewel of a program right here in town. He brings his students mentorship and at times reassurance. It's very rewarding to be able to pass on the, the experiences I had, good and bad. And the real payoff will be the confidence they gain as a result of the experience. It's setting them up for success and opening doors during the NCAA tournament under historic pandemic procedures. It was great talking with all of them and students started writing during the first four games of the tournament and will continue into the final four. This isn't the first time IUPUI students have covered the NCAA tournament. They've covered the final four since 2012, of course, excluding last year, Lauren. Yes, a great opportunity for those students who wish them the best and we appreciate their help with that story.